So to go ahead and apply the column settings to this, we wanna make sure that we take our document and kind of break it up in multiple sections. We've talked about how your document is currently in one column, so it's got a formatting applied to it. And you can actually apply multiple types of um, page setup formatting to all of your text inside of your document in multiple ways. So like if you wanted one of your pages to be flipped sideways in the middle, that's a page setup option of orientation. And you can actually do that by taking that page and splitting it away from the rest of the document document and sectioning it off to then flip the page. A lot of people, when they want to flip a page sideways in the middle of their document, actually end up creating two documents and then printing them or merging them like with a PDF because they don't know how to actually flip in the middle of a document inside Word. So this is a really useful skill for you to be able to take your document and break it up into sections and do different things with it. So looking at what we have here, we want our document to be broken up into multiple sections to allow different formatting and layout. So I'm going to go ahead and show you real quick that with this first um, paragraph here, we want it to stay the way that it is. We want it to stay in three column or sorry, one column. We want it to be exactly the way that it is. And then we have another group of information, which is these um, three call uh, this three paragraph section right here that we then want to split into three columns. So it's going to look like this, where it's going up and down in three separate columns. We're actually going to get one of each paragraph in those columns. And then we're going to have another group of information or text where we're going to have this area with the borders and the craziness all look exactly the way it does right now in one column as well. So my question to you is, how would you break this up? Where would you need to break it up and what would you do if we were to break this up into sections? So take a moment and think about that. So looking at this, I mean, it's pretty easy. I draw on it, you know, where, where we're gonna section things off. We're gonna end up with three total sections. This first paragraph is gonna be section number one. This three paragraph section with the three columns is gonna be section number two. And this last area with the multiple um, paragraphs and borders is gonna be section number three. And we're going to leave these formatting of one and two the way that, or one and three the way that they are. But this number two is where we're going to go ahead and make those changes. Now, the question to you I have is where do you break it up? Where are you going to break that document so that word knows that one and three are going to stay in one column and the second section is going to stay in three? So, to do this, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and break it off right after these paragraphs. So right up here, after the first paragraph, we're gonna put in a break. And they're called breaks because they're breaking the document up into different sections or different areas. And then the second break that we're gonna put in is going to go after this three paragraph section right here to really make it so that we can break that document into three sections. Once we add these breaks in, Word knows that section one can do its own thing, section two can do its own thing, and section three can do its own thing as far as page setup, and they won't affect each other. But you have to have the breaks in first before you can start doing it. I kind of like to compare this to like a loaf of bread. If you have a French bread, a loaf of French bread, and you're gonna make sandwiches out of it, and you're gonna make three different kinds of sandwiches, you don't just start making sandwiches on the bread before you cut it into the sections. You cut up the sandwich sections, and then you start making the sandwiches just like you would in this document. So we're gonna go ahead and break our document into multiple sections inside of Word using our breaks. So I challenge you for the next video, where would breaks be? Where would we find them?